Hey everybody, it's John here. In the last video, we checked out how we could unstack data. So we had a column of address records and we wanted to turn them into a table. Now, if we have the opposite problem, if we're starting with a table and we wanna go back to a stacked set of records, it's pretty easy. We can create a query and just select every column and go to transform and unpivot those columns. And then we get this extra column here, which has the column headings in it. And if we don't want that, we can also get rid of that. And we're back to our stacked set of data. And I'm just gonna close this and discard it. And as soon as I did that video, I came across a variation of stacking data. So I had something sort of like this situation where uh, each row had a parent in it and information about that parent. And then it had their children. So there was some information about child one and some information about child two and information about child three if they had that many children. And what I wanted to do was get that information about the child on a separate row of data, but still have the information about their parent in that data set for each row. So I basically wanted to partially stack the data. So let's take a look at how we can do this with Power Query. So I'm going to go up to the data tab and create a table range query. And then what I did was for each child, I ended up merging the data together. So right click and merge columns. And we're gonna add a separator because we're gonna want to separate this out uh, later on. And so you want to use some uh, separator that's not contained in your data. So I'm going to use a custom separator. I'm going to use the pipe character. And I'm just going to call this column one for now and press OK. And we can do that for each of the children. And I'm going to call this one two. And same thing for the last child here. Merge them. And call that guy three. And now what we can do is we can unpivot based on these columns here. So if I Go up to the transform tab after selecting those three columns and unpivot columns. Then I get uh, repeated data for that parent here and then the information about each child in a separate row. And here I can just call this uh, column child. So we got child one, two, and three. And here now I can split this out based on my pipe character. So split columns by delimiter. And it's already picked my pipe character. And we're going to do it at each occurrence of that delimiter. And now I can just rename these columns. So that's the uh, child's name. their date of birth and their school. And I'm just going to change this guy into a date. And then what we can do is whenever we have a blank here in this name, we can just filter that out because that person didn't have a third, a second or third child. So, uh, we can just remove empty and there we go we have our partially stacked data now so we can go into the home tab and close and load this to a table and we're just going to stick it right here and press ok and there we go now again this is 
dynamic. So if we take a new set of data and just add it into our original table up here, we can right click and refresh our table. And we get those stacked up nicely. So that's how we can partially stack data with Power Query. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. We'll see you guys next time.